What's up, y'all? Cece back with another video. Welcome or welcome back. So for today's video, it is going to be a Sunday reset. Even though I'm filming this on a Saturday, like my weekly resets happen on the weekends usually um so saturday sunday whatever there is so much for me to do like the list is just super long and all of it's just not gonna get done however we're gonna power through and try to get through most of it first of all if it's your first time watching hello my name is cc for those of you who don't know we talk about productivity our corporate careers and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel so if that is something you're interested in i would love for you to join the family so guys I didn't do a monthly reset for April and that's just because the month got away from me I don't know the month just got away from me I didn't feel like doing a reset and um yeah I just didn't so I when I do the resets the resets help me actually accomplish the things that I need to accomplish during the reset and since I didn't film the reset I didn't accomplish those things and so I really started April I felt like a little discombobulated and just I don't know I didn't start it as organized and as as ready as I would have hoped so I want to spend kind of the next week organizing my life this video is only gonna be for the weekend but I want to spend kind of the next week organizing my life but this weekend is gonna be like a just a big jump and Kickstarter to that um, we are already going into the second week of April um, next next week we'll be going into the second week of April and so many things are just coming up I feel like we're starting that spring summer travel season and so I don't want to get too far off of my yearly goals because that's coming up and because I'm just not organizing myself and being ready so with that being said in today's video <laughs> there's so much I'm headed to a workout right now because we're starting the weekend off right with a nice little run at Orange Theory but after that um y'all the list is a mile long and I don't think we're gonna get it all done again but we're gonna try I need to wash my hair this weekend I need to redo my lashes I need to deep clean my house Mark and I are gonna tag team that along with the kids there is probably like seven loads of laundry waiting to be folded and put away and then there's probably like four or five more loads that still need to be washed and dried um there I need to change my sheets and also my son's sheets on his bed um like I said deep cleaning the entire house I need to plan out my content for the rest of April and for May because I've been kind of off my content game I need to I want to run to Sephora because this was the first weekend of the Sephora spring savings VIB event whatever they're calling it these days and I already ordered some things online but I want to go to my local store and just see what they have as well so I want to kind of fit that in within the next couple of days I want to what else oh I need to update my notion template because that has not been updated in weeks y'all weeks um, so I need to update notion and there was something else big I needed to do oh meal plan and prep for the week I did not meal prep last week and I ended up going to chick-fil-a one day to get some food and then I ended up going to Arby's another weekday to get some lunch and that's what happens when you don't is that a parking spot that's what happens when you don't prep your damn meals you end up just eating out and eating stuff you shouldn't be eating and I am on 75 hard ish right now so I know that I can't be eating that stuff and when you're not prepared that's what you do and I was not prepared this week. So I refuse to go into next week unprepared. At least food wise. You know, so like I said, some of that stuff ain't gonna get done. I got it. I got it. And it's gonna spill over into the next week. But baby, we can get done with most of it. And so we just about to be, you know, we about to be working. That's all. But yeah, that's what's going on for the next couple of days. Oh, and on top of that, we got to get in 
church tomorrow as well but that's what's going on for the next couple of days hopefully you guys will stick around with me and hang out and see how I reset this is gonna be like some activities that should have been done at the beginning of the month and then some activities that I would do every single week so you guys are gonna get a little mixture of all of it in here so we can call like a mid-month reset um but uh yeah you guys are gonna get a little little mixture of all of that in this video so I hope you guys enjoy but my class is getting ready to start so I'm about to head in there and I'll talk to you guys when I come out Love so we're back home I'm looking looking crazy I got in the shower finished my workout and I've already started cleaning I've done like two loads well I've put away like two loads of laundry I started washing another load and we're just we're just moving along um so really excited about that because there's so much to be done I still have like there's like five baskets upstairs that still need to be put away and then there's still like four or five loads that still need to be washed so baby baby we still have a lot of work to do but I just realized I'm like I'm about to pass out it's 12 38 I'm starving right now um and so I have some Eggo waffles in the toaster I never eat waffles like never ever ever eat waffles not Eggo waffles like that like I'll make them with my little waffle maker I'll make protein waffles but I never eat Eggo waffles and but I just needed something quick because I'm starving so I'm about to scarf those down and then um we're gonna do our empties so normally for my monthly resets I will show you guys all the empties I use for the month and I use a lot of empties in March so I'm gonna grab the bag I've been using this uh, Bath and Body Works Candle Day bag from last year. And like I have a good amount of stuff in here for just one month, which makes me happy because I know we're on our low buy and our decluttering, you know, era. We're in that era. So I just want to, like I said, I'm using up my products. Now, I will have quite a sizable Sephora um savings event haul coming because i've already started shopping like i went there a little bit yesterday and then i bought a ton of stuff online because um a lot of new stuff came out and i just wanted it frankly if i'm just being quite honest so i have a sizable sephora haul coming up for you guys very very soon so just make sure you stay tuned for that but um yeah it's pretty it's pretty large like it's large large and I'm really excited about the stuff um look I, I I cut back where I can now Mark and I have been doing so good on our budgeting though so I set aside money for this so you guys I showed you in the last vlog how we do our budget meetings every single week we just had our budget meeting yesterday but last week when we did our budget meeting I was like hey just want to let you know the Sephora sales coming up. I'm planning on spending X amount of dollars. You know, it'll be somewhere around there. So let's put aside 200 this week. And then I put aside, you know, I, I knew this week we would have extra money because our bills don't hit like our bills hit so heavy at the beginning of the month but I knew that coming into this second week and the second pay, we don't have as many like heavy hitting bills this week. So I knew there was going to be more money for me to play with as well, um, you know, after throwing the money at debt and paying the bills. So, um, yeah, I had a good chunk to play with. And boy, I played with it. I played with it. Could it have went to debt? Absolutely. But I also feel like you got to be able to live your life, too. OK, I'm not one of those hardcore budget debting you know debt payoff people i'm just never going to be that so i've learned that about myself but anyway i'm gonna go get this waffle we're gonna eat and then we're gonna come back and do our empties <laughs> that waffle and um I just have some coffee right here I just made some coffee in my Nespresso so I want to show you guys my empties and like I said we have quite a bit so I was really proud of myself this month just put this 
So firstly, I have this TPH, so Body By TPH. This is Taraji um, P. Henson's line. Hold on. All right, I didn't want that bag to take my focus. All right, so this is the TPH, the Wind Down, a relaxing, creamy body cleanser. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I did not love this. Um, I've had it for a while, and I used some of it, realized I didn't like it, and then, like, put it down and picked it back up because I wanted to use it up. Wasn't a big fan. It just wasn't as moisturizing as I would have hoped, and especially I was using this in, like, the dead of winter, and it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. Um, however... On the flip side, this Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Wash, Coconut Oil, and Shea Butter. This stuff was actually really good. I just finished this yesterday, and I love the way it made my body feel. I just felt super just moisturized when I used this. So I really did love it. I loved the smell. That whole Brazil Nut line just reminds me of the Sol de Janeiro products at Sephora. So if you want like a cheaper alternative to those, try the, the um, Trader Joe's lines when they come out again um this is oh this is just a pack of my kiss lashes my self-adhesive lashes that i use all the time that i tell you guys about this is a pack of the natural that i completely used up i love those yes i'll be repurchasing um this one here is this is like almost full but this is the chi iron guard uh, this I have had for so long and I know it is expired and so I went ahead and I just decluttered it but I wanted to show you guys that I have other I've, I've had this for probably like eight years like it's been a long time and so I know it's not going to protect my hair so I was like I'm not even playing with that um, since I'm using heat more and I wanted to throw it out would I repurchase it I don't even remember how it works like that's how long it's been since I use it and I have since found other um other heat protectants that have worked really well for me uh, we have a lot of makeup in this one y'all i finished up the bobby brown primer plus mattifying primer i've had this for quite a while and i finally used it up it's it's an okay primer it's not the greatest i have better so i probably would not repurchase it but it's pretty good um the native coconut and vanilla sulfate free body wash we used her up i just had the little travel size when i was traveling so much last year um this was like the travel that i took on like my last few trips and so i just used that up to get it out of my collection i also have the necessary body exfoliator this i really really liked my skin just felt so good and so soft i have a bunch of body exfoliators though from way so before i would repurchase this i want to use those and see how i feel about those and if i like them more but that necessary exfoliator was really good none of the other products really wowed me from that brand but this this really did um the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray this is such a good setting spray i'm on the fence about purchasing it again from the sephora sale because i did purchase the one size spray again because i'm almost out of it um but i love this i love this so so much i just don't need as many sprays right now so i wanted to get rid of some more but then I have this fear, like, what if I get rid of all of them? And then, but then I could just repurchase it, right? 20% off is not that much of a discount. It to be honest, it's really not that much of a discount for me to just have excess products sitting around. So if I use up all of my really, truly heavy duty setting sprays, which I'll be using them a lot more since summer is coming. If I use up all of those, then I can just go back and repurchase. Like I have to stop having that mindset of what if I run out? If you run out, they still make it and you go to the store and you purchase it again. That's it. So I don't think I'm going to purchase that during the sale, but I love, love, love this and will be repurchasing it. And I, I am a big fan of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Um, the Necessaire Body Serum. This I was just not impressed with. It wasn't that moisturizing. It left my body still feeling kind of dry. It has zero fragrance, like zero. It's almost weird that it has zero fragrance. I don't think I've ever used anything truly with zero fragrance and it was just it was just kind of odd and so um when every time I used it I was expecting to smell something and just didn't but I would not repurchase that I find that one to be a waste 
Oh, this was a good one. The Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. First of all, my name is Camellia, as you guys know. So um, uh, this has a special place in my heart. It's not spelled the exact same way, but it's very, very, very close. Just one letter off. But um, this was a very nice moisturizing beauty oil. I used this only at night before I went to bed. And yeah, I just really liked this one. I had this for a while, so I used it like most of it. And then I kind of misplaced it in all of my beauty stuff. And then I refound it like a month ago. And I've been using it ever well until I used it up. And I love, love, love that stuff. And if I'm looking for another beauty oil, I would definitely repurchase. Uh, this is the Sephora Charcoal Brush Cleanser Stick. I actually let this dry out and expire. So it's not empty. Um, it's just dried out and I can't use it. So... Uh, there's that. The Olaplex number five bond maintenance conditioner. I don't see that this did anything super special with my hair. However, I'm testing the Olaplex line. Like I want to test it out before I say that because I feel like something like this, you're not going to notice the complete difference right away. Right. I, I did like how, um, how soft my hair felt when I used it, but I can't say that it was any softer than any other conditioner I've used, but softness isn't really the point of the Olaplex. Like this is a bond maintenance conditioner. So it's really supposed to strengthen and nourish your hair. And I feel like that's something you don't notice, like you're not gonna notice it on the first use. So I I wanna continue to try the Olaplex product. So I feel like I will, I just have some other stuff to get through first, but I feel like I will continue to repurchase the Olaplex line. I love the number six though, that leave-in conditioner. Yes, ma'am. Um, Lumi whole body deodorant. This has been my deodorant of choice to go to the gym and all of that for probably the past like four or five months. So yeah, she's that girl. I'm actually on a subscription where they send me three every three months and I keep one and then my daughters both get one, but I love Lumi. Uh, the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This is gone. This was a nice cleanser. Didn't dry out my skin too much, which was great. I don't think it did anything overly special. Um, I feel like for my skincare routine, like the cleanser is never that special to me. It's always the moisturizer that I feel that does the toner and the moisturizer. Those are the two that I stand over. The cleansers, I feel like I could cleanse with anything, but it's the moisturizer and the toners that really are the difference makers for me. So I never really notice much about the cleanser unless it does something like dry my skin out really bad or um, yeah, that's the only way I notice. Um, about a cleanser so would I repurchase it if it's on sale and I need a cleanser probably but um there was nothing overly special about it to me lastly I used up this biosense biosense rose vegan lip balm this nourishes and visibly plumps lips it's supposed to I didn't notice the lip plumping feature but it was definitely a nice lip balm I kept this on my nightstand next to the bed and this is the lip balm that I would use at night when I was just upstairs getting ready for bed so I used that all up so those are all my empties that was a lot of empties for one month because I just did an empties at the end of February so I mean your girl's getting through these products okay which I'm really excited about um but yeah let me know if you've tried any of those products and what you think but these were this was a really good collection of products that I used up so super happy about that anyway um oh my gotta go do some more laundry let's keep going Miles and 
we're in the car actually pulling up to the grocery store so this is the grocery portion of the reset video told you guys we need to meal plan and meal prep we've done our planning meal planning for the week and i like to prep meals but only lunches i do not prep dinners i do not pre prep breakfast well actually i don't eat breakfast kind of i eat two meals a day so that is like a meal around 12 31 ish and that can either be breakfast food or it can be lunch food just whatever i feel like eating that day and then i'll eat dinner dinner is always prepared fresh um so i never prep dinners but i do always well i try to always prep lunches so Mark is actually going to get in on some of the meal prep action this week. And we are doing steak, zucchini, and, and sweet potatoes. I saw this bomb uh, prep recipe that I want to try. So um, we're going to do that. And we're just going to get the stuff. So we have probably like two or three grocery stores to go through, go to to get all of our, all of our ingredients for our family for the week. Let's go. We going to two or three stores? You know we got to go to more than this store. So I don't know why you playing. We, we don't. He does this all the time. I don't know why you playing. <sighs> Let's go. What do I do? We having food coupons sometimes. <laughs> Featuring you on my channel. I say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hi to the reset vlog. Hello. <laughs> Let's see what all they got on sale. You could fall asleep for a hundred hours and I wouldn't miss a thing I would keep you safe while you were dreaming You could scream and shout, cry a thousand tears and I wouldn't let fear win But you feel I feel, together we're healing I don't care the team Alright y'all, so <laughs> we just finished with the first stop. We're about to head to the second grocery store. And I was thinking, he gonna try to make me drive. Oh, I hate driving. Hold on, y'all. He busting up our flow. He busting up my flow. He always trying to make me drive. I'm not always trying to make a drive. I, I, I want to eat my ice cream. Y'all husbands, you trying to make y'all drive. You never drive. You made me drive yesterday. I did not make you drive. You, you asked me to go somewhere with you. And you and use the, 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 what's the name? I'll drive if you come. But you didn't have to make me for real. I wasn't going to go. See how he acts. I was only going because you asked me to go with you. You were going to drive regardless. I know, but since you was coming, you could have drove me. Cause that makes sense. Whatever. Where's we going? Tomorrow's man. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So, oh, this car waiting on this. I can get out that way, can? No, you cannot. Oh. Well. Have you ever got out that way? I don't never drive here. You drive, we drive, we come over here all the time. But I don't drive, so I don't decide. Oh, I thought you said you always drive. I don't drive here. Yeah. So I don't, I didn't know the way you actually go out all the time. Okay, anyway, so I was sitting here and I had a brilliant go idea. Left, I know where my you're at. Well, what interrupted me? I'm just trying to help him. I could have been gone. You could have. Anyway, I was sitting here and I had a brilliant idea and I was like, so we just got a restoration hardware that opened. What is this car doing? Oh, we just got a restoration hardware that opened like two weeks ago in Cleveland. I feel like that's like the most exciting thing we've gotten in a while, I swear. And I've always wanted to go. I've always heard good things about the rooftop restaurant. So I had a brilliant idea because we have a kid-free night tonight. It's just like an unexpected kid-free night that I'm super excited about. We ain't really doing nothing, but I was like, we should get up and go to brunch in the morning. We can never go to brunch. So, I can do my hair and we can get up and go to Restoration Hardware in the morning. And that is so exciting. I made us a 10.30 reservation and this lobster roll, look, I'm usually a brunch person. I usually can't eat lunch food for breakfast, but this lobster roll that I saw on their menu looks so good. And that is what I'm getting. I have not had a lobster roll since I was in Austin for Afrotech, if y'all remember. 
and I was obsessed with that lobster roll. I ate it like three times. You definitely could have made it just like before this cart. <sighs> if you want to criticize my driver, you can get back over here. I will be when I finish this ice cream. Good. But yeah, so I'm getting the lobster roll in the morning and I am over the moon excited. And I've, I've been wanting to go to Restoration Hardware for years now. And just, I don't know, obviously we don't have one here. Well, didn't have one here and so. And we could walk around, look at the little furniture. I can go to the Sephora over there and just walk around and see what they got. Because, you know, it's the sale time. It's all, we can go to Whole Foods, like I said. We can make a whole morning out of it. It's going to be fun. He's quiet, but I can tell he's excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll bring you guys with us. This reset vlog is more just like a regular vlog. <laughs> regular vlog even though we're getting stuff done because i told you i was getting all that laundry done i only got like three more loads to go like i was rolling today um i do need to plan out my content for the next couple months but yeah most of the laundry is done so i want to finish that um and then obviously plan the week plan my content i still need to meal prep tomorrow so we'll definitely do that we bought the stuff for the meal prep and we're buying the rest of it at this next store so you know, we're getting stuff done. I told y'all we weren't gonna make it through the whole list, but we're getting things done, and that's all that matters. So, let's head to the next store where I am praying they have Olipops on sale because I don't want to pay $3 for Olipop. headed to like I told you guys yesterday we're headed to restoration hardware for brunch I am so my mouth is watering for this lobster roll okay um I did my makeup this morning I didn't film it but I did my makeup so I am actually wearing the house labs foundation I love that foundation chef's kiss it's so beautiful I'm wearing that and on the lips I found the most beautiful combination. Let me show you. So you guys will see this lip cream in an upcoming Sephora haul, but I am wearing the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. This is in the shade number 74. I think it was called like Vanilla Cream or something like that. It looks like that. So it's a really light skin lip stain, so you can't use it by itself, but I mixed it with the NYX Lip Pencil in brown. And then I put on top the Pat McGrath Lip, Balm, lip Gloss in uh, Flesh Fantasy. So these three together, just so gorgeous okay so that's what I'm wearing on my lips and then for perfume I'm gonna I like pairing my perfume so I put as kind of a base layer I put on this Valentino um this is the Roma this is like the original one so I put on this Valentino under my clothes and then on top I'm going to do some of, I think I'm going to do some of this Dior Ombre Nuit, Nuit, I think it's called. So that's going to be kind of my top layer. Oh yeah, we love this. This is like a date night fragrance, but we're going to brunch. I could just bathe myself in it. It's so good. And then for the outfit, I'm going to show y'all, I am just wearing, let me see if I can bring this down some, hold on. Okay, here's the outfit. I'm wearing this top that I got from H&M. It's so cute. It has like the little sweetheart neckline. I got it too big though. I got it in a large. I'm definitely a medium in this top, but it is what it is. Like if I move it at all, it's like my whole bra is going to show, but it's cute. And then I just have these jeans that I got from American Eagle a while ago. They're just like some 
wider leg jeans. But that's the fit. I'm going to wear these shoes by Rachel Zoe. I got these from TJ Maxx some months ago, like right at the end of the year. But I'm going to wear these shoes. And I think I'm going to wear my pochette Matisse. Do I have anything? Yeah, I think this is good. I'm going to wear my pochette Matisse because we might do a little browsing in the shopping center that Restoration Hardware is in. So we might like do a little shopping. So I wanted to make sure my shoes were comfortable. And then I had a bag um, that could fit a few things just in case we decide to go like walking around. But um, I'll try to get a full picture so you guys can see the full picture of the outfit. But yeah, there we go. Kind of. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm about to finish putting on my jewelry and we're gonna get in the car and go it's like 9 45 and our reservation is for 10 30. i'm so excited i have been wanting to try this restaurant forever so i am just uber excited y'all <laughs> Late night creeping, shot slide on bitches. Posted up with the militia. Niggas ain't switching. Mind on missions. Mind on pussy and millions. Mind on pussy and millions. I'm tryna call a sex symbol to eat my kids up. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the motherfucking problems. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the motherfucking problems. Hey. Braid it up in my sweet so hit them then I get him easy. Life ain't getting any easier. Flock off, flock a seat up. I know that I'm not in love, she don't know me either. It's just hard to find her love, then she keep on getting deeper. Who said it's cheaper to keep her? I'd rather release her. Body ain't give her away like a feature. You know the procedure. Niggas is pretty in the guy, so we stay with the sweet boy. I'm rapping for well in my twenties, so treacherous. Introduce y'all to the leader. Come to me with all the smoke I like the money for sure But I love the hustle the most She pretty, she sharp with toes And my panties, they came with a pole Know this money bring envy and jealousy I'm like, fuck it, I want me some more Hit it from the back, she bent up Playing with the money, get spent up Chains on my neck, no kenta You the type of girl I pay rent for Suck it in the credits with the temper Bought me a plane, not a sprinter Quarter million dollars on a dental She say I'm a step of a gentle but yeah, it is a good bit later. It's like 4.30. And I've just been kind of... It's a good bit later and I've just been kind of, I don't know, planning out stuff for the week. Sitting around a little bit. I also filmed um, a Sephora haul because we did stop in Sephora while we were out. So I filmed my first installment of my Sephora haul for the VIB sale. Now um, I'm about to meal prep. So I saw this steak, sweet potato, and zucchini meal prep that I am excited to try. So I'm gonna make like five or six meals, depending on how much steak this makes. I'm gonna, uh -huh, I don't know. I'm gonna make like five or six meals and um, we're gonna have our lunches for the week. I told you guys I feel super off when, you know, when I'm not meal prepped and I gotta go out to eat during the week. So this week we're gonna start the week off right. We're gonna have our lunches for the week. And I have these bison steak medallions, which I think I've shown before. I really like these. And then I also have some beef um, loin strip steaks as well. So, like I said, hoping for six meals. And that'll get me through the entire week. And then we'll just cook dinner fresh. So, I also have my zucchini here, which I'm going to chop up. And then... Oop, I got hit on the door and then I also have my sweet potatoes somewhere in this pantry because we bought them yesterday um they're somewhere in the pantry Lord. you wash that out the water thing you always wash new things out you don't know who has been in there you and what's been in there that's been sitting in a warehouse. You don't know nothing. We go down the door. We don't know nothing. It's
There could have been mice crawling in there. You wash out all new things. Uh, it's washed out. It's not. You didn't wash it out. What do you mean? You need to wash it? That's what you're supposed oh to do. Oh my God, you be doing it. You, well, I hope you, you, shit you ain't after me. I do not be doing a whole wash of no shit out of the All right, I found my sweet potatoes. So the first thing we have to do is marinate the steak. We're gonna do that first, and um, I don't know the person I let me find the man. He used uh, a few things that I don't have, so we're gonna improvise with the marinade, but it should still be fine. We're gonna improvise with it. All right, this is the dude I'll be watching, Jeff Harris. Oh wait, let's skip the but his name is Jeff Harris that's the guy I'll be watching also be watching Iyanla obviously but I'm gonna show y'all right here Mark's um, getting water out of the refrigerator by the way but this is the guy I'll be watching he be on point with his meal preps so um, let me see what he marinated this with bacon soda bacon soda soy sauce oyster sauce and cornstarch is what he did it with. I don't have any oyster sauce, so we're gonna switch that with Worc Wor Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna use that um, instead of the oyster sauce, but we do have cornstarch, baking soda, and soy sauce. So we're just gonna add the marinade, add the steaks to a bowl, marinate it, and then cover them, and then we'll make the other stuff. 